Hello and welcome back to That Was Rad's. Today we're going to be going through the Argos catalogue from 1987. Now for people who aren't from the UK, Argos is a high street store which basically has nothing in it but what you do is you pick your item from a big fat catalogue, like it was like really really thick, uh, yeah, write, your, write the number down and what it is on a piece of paper and then you take it into the store and they go behind the scenes and bring it out for you and yeah that's pretty much it so it's kind of like the internet but on paper yeah and they pretty much sold everything as you'll see so let's should we get into it let's get into it let's get into it so yeah autumn winter 1987 now the autumn winter catalogs were always the best ones because they had all the toys in whereas like in spring summer you'd have You'd have outdoor toys, but you wouldn't have all the Christmas hype. So yeah, th these were the ones to get. This is how you order. You can pause it if you want to read it, but I think I just explained it quite well. And yeah, the first thing in every Argos catalog from whenever, from like whenever they started, what year did they start? It was 48 years ago. 48 years so ago. So it'd be 1972. Don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure they always started with jewellery. I haven't seen the early catalogues. Maybe we can go through those later on. But from what I, so it was, it was 1972. It was 1972 on your birthday. On my birthday, yes, November 13th, 1972 was the birth of of Argos. So, yeah, they're older than me. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Anyway, from what I remember, they always started with jewellery, and it was always really tasteful jewellery. So let's have a look through some of this. So you'd have your usual big gold diamondy things. We can probably skip through a lot of these pages because it's not particularly exciting and not particularly amazing jewellery. <laughs> oh, some of them was some of it was fairly pricey. I mean, like yeah, forty nine nine forty four ninety nine for that one. I, I I don't want any of this. You can buy your wedding ring. I'm not. Sure. Did people actually buy their wedding yes, rings from Argos? Yeah, really. They no, did. Nothing wrong with that. I, I know people who did that. And yeah, number five, that's a really nice engagement ring and wedding ring set. Ooh, and, okay. And it, it's pretty neutral. It is, it's nice. Yeah. Do you work for Argos? No, but I know someone who did. Oh, yeah. I, I should add that I did work for Argos. I worked on their website. That was a really good segue. <laughs> I worked on their website and um, did like email newsletters back like five six six years ago maybe yeah it was very exciting worked in the head office in milton Keynes, which is a lovely place yeah. uh yeah I, I sat in front of the people who did who sorted out all the paper supplies and the printing for the argos catalog they were a very exciting bunch i'm guessing they don't work there anymore because the argos catalog was retired in 2020 wasn't it yeah, yeah so they probably don't work there anymore but they were nice enough they were just typical office people who had office jokes. Other rings, all very exciting rings. Is there any that you like? Well, <laughs> number 28 is a classic. In fact, weren't these based on Princess Diana's rings? Yeah, were these they? ones in the bottom corner, like up to 39, They, uh, I thought they were based on Princess Diana's wedding ring. How the hell do you know that? Because I've seen her <laughs> wedding ring and there was a big hoopla about it and then all the high street stores copied the style. Oh. I'm probably completely wrong, but that's what I thought okay. Diana's ring looked like. That's that's exciting. I still don't like them, but <laughs> good enough for Diana. But not I'm good. I'm picking your Christmas present today from the 1987 Argos catalog. By that's the way, nice. yeah, nice, nice. Yeah, uh, crosses. Silver's a bit more tasteful than gold, I think, in Argos standards. I remember those earrings being a big style of the time. Pat Butcher earrings. Pat Butcher earrings, yeah, that's right. You bitch! You cow! No, but I mean, I, I remember 24, 26, 22 being big styles, being in, you know, being a young girl. Being there, a young girl. There was lots of, uh, yeah, What's it was all 24? about... The kittens, oh, the, aren't they? No, teddy bear um, stud earrings. Hmm. Yeah, it was all about the animal-shaped earrings. Yeah, it was all about that back then. And and tassels. I do remember tassels. I think I remember my mum having some tassel earrings. <laughs> <laughs> earrings. <laughs> Again, dangly earrings. I'm bored of these now. Dolphin ones. Oh, no, 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 no. Is this the same one? Number 11, is that the same one? The, the cat? Yeah. That's pretty close. 
think it came from Argos. 1987. And why done? Did it, was it ever gold? I wouldn't remember, I was a baby at the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that might well be it. Yeah. Argos jewellery was famous for the, the gold plating rubbing off and turning green. It's famous for being shit. Yeah. <laughs> that might be it. Anyway, I'm bored of jewellery now. Unless there's any, el any others. I remember these. These were a thing, weren't they? Yeah. I've got some like that from a charity shop. Yeah. yeah. And gold bracelets. Everything had lockets on in the 80s. Locket yeah. shoes, locket toys, yeah. locket bracelets. Marvellous. Yeah, let's, let's get through these. Sovereign rings, always a classic with your, your British hard man. Beautiful, beautiful sovereign rings. You don't see many pocket watches anymore. In fact, was that even for sale? No. That hasn't got a number next to it. No, oh, I want the pocket watch. Speaking of watches, another good segue. Yeah, I remember Argos being great for watches. I was really into watches when I was a kid. I really liked watches, so this is one of my favourite sections. And uh, yeah, apart from gold ones, I wasn't really into gold watches, but Argos was. And people who shopped at Argos were. Hmm. No little boys wore gold watches, did they? No, I don't think that was a big. That was a good look for for young boys. <laughs> a gold watch on a young boy. <laughs> anyway, so that's a kid's watch in the corner. I'm guessing. Well, yeah, that is a kid's watch. Um, yeah, I, I liked the digital watches. I was big into the Casios and, and shit. Like beyond all these crappy ones. Did you have one? I had to. I had watches of all sorts. I used to get. Yeah, I used to like getting them for Christmas. I remember that one, the Timex Iron Man. I remember that. I'm not sure if I had that or not, but I remember that being a thing. So I still have these two watches that I bought a couple of years ago because I thought they were awesome. Like this, this calculator one and this one. Still stylish as hell. Yeah, from Camden Market. No, I got that one from Camden Market. Market. Well, yeah, Spitalfields Market. Yeah, and that one's from eBay or something. Yeah, I feel like uh, watch design hadn't really reached its peak by then. I mean, apart from apart from these two, these two are epic. But yeah, I remember. I mean, I was only three at the time, so yeah, I, I wasn't really into watches. But those ones are classics. And calculator watches in general. These ones are boring as hell though. No, that clown one's really good. You want the clown one? I do want that clown one. Well, I think I found your Christmas present. Good luck finding them. I'm sure I can find it's it. It's a somewhere. pocket watch. That is a po that's that same pocket watch from before. But you just couldn't buy it on the last page. No. I used to have one of those nurses, um, the you flip. I mean, it was fake, flip. didn't work, no. but I got to pretend. Yeah. But uh, number five, that would have been so a great Christmas present. Do nurses have those because if they wear a wristwatch, they might like drop it in a patient or something? Yeah, like you'll get guts under the <laughs> under the um, under I mean, the strap, so yeah. you can you can have your hands free and have your wrists clean and you know. That makes see sense. What's that makes sense. That's that's fine. Yeah, that swatch, swatch, that swatch one is pretty cool. That one's see through. Is that the start of the see through era? That might have been, yeah. That might have been a trailblazer in the see-through stuff era. Number 15 as well. Yeah. See-through stuff rules. So we're going to be going through all of the Argos catalogues up until things kind of get a bit boring. So yeah, we'll, we'll see the see-through era pretty soon. Apparently it was exciting until 1994. Yeah. Which is can be said for most things. Well, I think so, found. yeah. I think 1994 was the, the peak of cool stuff, really. I mean, yeah, it all ended when Kurt Cobain died. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. There's clocks that back in. These? The, the spiky ones, are, well, yeah. but like with mirrors. Are they classic interior design? Yeah, well, they, they have them um, with mirrors now, but you see like the spiky mirrors absolutely everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Saw that. Mm. In, yeah, on the Argus I think we should probably there. get one. Actually, I think we should just get this mask clock because that is way better. I like that a lot. Yeah. All, all classic clocks. That one, is that a picture frame? Or is yeah. it just, do you put your own picture in it or is it just that crappy picture? I kind of want the picture it comes with. The picture's whack. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that. 
don't want that at all. Grandfather clocks. Free home delivery. Oh, whoops. Free home delivery for your grandfather clock. See, that's ahead of their time, Argos, with free home delivery. You'd have to pay three ninety five now just to get it from Argos. Or six ninety five. Argos so. Prime, yeah. this was. Yeah, way ahead of the time. So we need to talk about these clocks with the balls in the bottom. Now, if you're not from the UK and you had these clocks and you know of these clocks, please drop a comment below because I want to know whether they were just a UK thing that all grandparents and parents had one, at least one clock like this with these stupid little balls at the bottom. So the handles, handles on top of the clocks, why did they have handles on? Why do you need to move your clock around that much? Because you can't bring it back out when the people who gave it to you come round to your house. <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I guess that makes sense, yeah. They, I'm sure they were just given as present. No one, no one bought those for themselves, did they? No one bought those clocks for themselves. They were just bought as presents that no one wanted. I only knew them being as given. Jesus, look at the... there's so many of them. <laughs> yeah, but they haven't got balls. Let's just take some time out to appreciate the design of these clocks. I mean, what the f*** is that? It's a dove clock. It's a dove clock. Enough said. I mean, they're just hideously amazing. Yeah. Is there another page? Oh no, we get into alarm they clocks after that. Yeah. Let's just go back and appreciate this for one more second. Did you ever break one of these clocks? I don't think I ever broke one. But I did take the lid off these one of these ones. <laughs> and then you'd, the balls would be spinning round, and you'd stick your finger in there. Or yeah, I'd always it. stick my finger in the balls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's and, just what you did. And so the grown-ups would yell at you, "Don't do that! You're gonna break the balls <laughs> of the clock." To, to be honest, no one yelled at me because they probably wanted me to break their oh. hideous clock. It's just always one of those unwanted gifts. Like, yeah. No one wanted one of those clocks. The thing is, I did. I really did, and I never got one. But all the elderly sure. people I knew did get one. I'm sure we could find you one in a charity shop. I don't want one now. Oh, okay. You want to buy one of those for Christmas? Good. Set it on fire. Alarm clocks. Alarm clocks are just alarm clocks. They're and cool. Look at that, that Mickey mask, Mouse mask one. Was, 87 mask was big in the uh, household items game, especially in the clock game by the looks of it. And the Mickey, the classic Mickey with the arms. Like, yeah. Those clocks with the bells, like they were good, like those. Um, yeah, but the rest of them, they could do one. Board of those. Plate clocks. Plate clocks, yeah. Naturally. No, obviously. That one's a torch. And that one's a lamp. That one's tech as hell. I like that. It looks like um, one of those overhead projectors you used to get at school. Oh. And it shines the thing onto the wall. That, they were they were dope. There's number four fold up, like a pocket alarm clock. Uh, it's a travel alarm clock. Yeah, yeah, I remember those. My, I think my dad had one of those that he used to take on holiday with him and fold it up. Gifts for ladies. So sexy. So, no, they had gifts for men too. Yeah, but it's but a stereotype of what a woman wants. We'll get like to the gifts for men. A duck umbrella. You do want a duck umbrella though, to be I fair. Do They're pretty so cool. So do you. I, I could rock a duck umbrella. Yeah, it's just handbags, isn't it? Hmm. That's all gifts all, all ladies want, apparently. I hate handbags. You hate handbags. Okay, we'll move on. Would you like a jewellery box? Is this part of the gifts for ladies? This might be. So you're going to have a handbag or a jewellery box? These are quite elaborate jewellery boxes. Well, the 80s were big on the ballerina jewellery boxes where you'd open it and play some crazy tune. Oh, yeah, tune. That's, that's a ballerina one. They'd spin round yeah. and you'd flick the ballerina. Yeah, yeah, they were springy, weren't they? Yeah, yeah I remember those. They were stupid. Because you don't want that playing every time you open your jewellery box. No, I mean, it was a relief when, this, when it broke. Like, what if I was asleep and you were putting on your jewellery and you just woke me up with ballerina woman? It was a, there was pissed. a wind-up thing, I think, so it would run out eventually. Well, and that's... And then it would only continue if you kept winding good, up. good, then. You can get some sheepskin gloves and his and hers robes. Ah. You can grow a plant. That's, this is all, all a woman could ever want. So we've got even more ladies' gifts, including potpourri hangers. 
crying clown mirrors. Crying and clown. hairbrush set. And oh, it comes with a comb, attractively gift box. Did you? Did your grandparents have padded hangers in their house? My grandparents didn't, but I did a house clear out for an elderly lady who died in the 90s and I remember she had padded hangers and little potpourri things hanging off them yeah. and I'd never seen them before and they were so pretty I decided to keep them. Oh wow. Well. The family didn't want it, it was okay, I wasn't just stealing them. Probably not because they're awful. So the Country Fragrance Gift Set number 20 it contains two prettily padded hangers and matching heart shaped sachets all delicately perfumed. Mm. To be fair, it stops your clothes from going fusty. Yeah, it makes them smell like perfume. Anyway, some lovely gifts for women. We got any more? Oh, we've got a knitting bag. I mean, that's not strictly for women, but I'm sure it's marketed to them. This is like, I, I, I would say this is maybe the old lady page. Not not to be ageist or anything, but this this is shit that the old ladies would like. You've got uh, people still use these. They they were great. They're really practical as well. If you're going shopping, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we should bring those back. <laughs> you start then. I might. I might. I might start. Some uh, lovely knitting boxes and uh, knitting bags with kitties on and a pattern file. Yeah, some gold lighters as well. Yeah, they, they, I remember Argos selling a lot of lighters. All very tasteful. Like yeah, and the finishes on some of these. Like, yeah, all sorts of nice scratchy patterns. Yeah. Your dad ever have one of those? No. No? No. No, he always bought the, the cheaper lighters. Yeah, yeah. These are for these are for the, the executive. I feel like in the coming pages it's gonna be quite executive. And you've got your pen and lighter set. That's uh oh your pen and pipe. Look at uh, no, sorry, your lighter and pipe. That's uh yeah, beautiful. Do you remember these as well? Like the marble, I don't know why I'm pointing because... You know. I remember every <laughs> every charity shop had one yeah. of those in. I think my great nana, my aforementioned great nana, did I mention her? I can't remember. Who had the padded hangers, she had one of those on her on her coffee table. And it didn't work, but I always used to press it. Like you press it down and it's supposed to light, but it doesn't. Oh. Yeah, onyx, marble, yeah, beautiful stuff. Oh, we're well, back to jewellery now, Jesus Christ. Even more jewellery. Let, let's skip past that. Oh my god. Brush. <laughs> horse brasses. <laughs> horse brasses. They they need to bring horse brasses back. Pretty sure my nana still has horse brasses in her living room. Yeah. And probably one of these horse statues too, because my granddad was really into horses and horse racing. Yeah, they were everywhere. Yeah, they were. Like... They're still a staple of the British pub, I think. Yeah, it's not a proper British pub unless it has horse brasses. I always wondered where people bought them from. Apparently Argos. I'm sure they had like a proper place that sold like many different The horse versions. brass store. The horse brass outlet. They had a catalogue like this, it was 500 pages just like this one. Toby jugs. Again, non-UK watchers of this video a Toby jugs a thing, but not in the UK. Are they a thing that you had that you know of? I, I've no idea the significance of Toby jugs. Oh, you look highly, highly perturbed by something on this page. What is it? <laughs> Number twelve. Number twelve. This. It looks. It looks like it's a drink glass for your candle. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? <laughs> It comes with the candle. That almost never happens. <laughs> almost never happens. Pens. Yeah. Yeah, not much to discuss on this page. Calligraphy set, very nice. Briefcases have died out. No one has a briefcase anymore to keep their laptop in, do they? What's, what's up, <laughs> Nikki? Are you perturbed at something on this page again? The, the trouser press. The Corby trouser press? Like, is that to take with you places or just to... No, that's like if you really miss the one that's in your hotel room every time you go out as a sales rep to sell paper or toner. Does they used to have them, them in, they had them in all hotel rooms. But who uses them? Does anyone actually use them? I was a bit bored, uh, so I dismantled my Corby trouser press. <laughs> I 
can't put it back together again. It was sixty nine ninety five. What is that in today's money? <laughs> More expensive than an iron. Just iron your trousers. <laughs> you just iron your damn trousers. I used to. Have, I used to think briefcases were cool just because I, I kind of, I kind of wanted to be a businessman. Yeah. I wanted to have a mobile phone, and I wanted to be a businessman when, like, back in the in the early nineties. I just had a flashback. My dad got flashback. his first briefcase from Argos. Ah, well. And I was obsessed with it. I think it was like the cheapest one. Um, and I was obsessed with all the little compartments and yeah. the fact that you could have like this James Bond code. Oh, well, rad! Yeah, it, you yeah. could. You, you lock. You could lock them. You could lock your stuff in them. That's why they were so cool. Briefcases. Yeah. Executive. Oh, look at all oh, gifts for men. I've done the gifts for women. The gifts for men. I, I, I prefer the bloody chest set over the over a handbag. They're a bit more exciting, aren't they? Yeah. A little bit more exciting. Yeah. Uh, if we've got fucking homebrew. <laughs> Homebrew's cool. A leather passport holder. No, that's cool. A leather checkbook holder. Many, many leather things for for the for the modern eighties man. Number fifteen holds twenty ties. <laughs> Not nineteen ties. Twenty ties. See again, like this is proper executive man with twenty ties. Like who has twenty ties? Well, what about the executive woman? Well, you got twenty ties. Do you? Um, well, maybe two. I have two. Of which I never wear them ever because the hell's a tie for? I wore one a while ago. Yeah, well, that's very executive of yeah, you. The, uh, what are these sets? Number 16. A travel set. Oh, you've got a razor and stuff in it. That's, uh, that's very executive. And a filofax. So you can put all your important things in. I always wanted one of those. Did you? Yeah. You had a notebook. A regular <laughs> shaped umbrella. <laughs> Back when I was three, I didn't really have that many contacts that I needed to keep safe. I didn't need to shave either. Yeah, gifts for men. There's oh, not as to the women. There's not as many gifts for men, though. Because then we... just, like, condensed together. Well, these don't have... I mean, this does have a picture of a woman on, but it could have been a man that... Oh, I've gone the wrong way. It could have been a man that knitted that on their knitting machine. To be fair, this page is not sexist. I'm not having that. Okay, so that's this is for the man if he wants to knit his woman some nice gifts. Yes, we'll we'll go with that. Okay. Yeah, and mend darn her socks. I don't know if that's done by a sewing machine, but you can mend the socks with a sewing machine. A Toyota would be reliable. Electric razors. Very nice. They were, they were big in the 80s, electric shavers. Lots of convenience. They haven't changed that much, have they? They haven't really. Most of them are, yeah. Those sorts of ones, yeah. Electric shavers. Lady shavers. Lady shavers. <laughs> she just sits there in her leotard, shaving. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Number 17. Isn't that oh, a... Oh, it sh- it's still a shaver. It's but... a bikini razor, is it? Ah, yeah, do your bikini line. Because was this the era of where they had like bikinis that the, like, went up yeah, to here? Really high yeah, really like, Yeah, all the way up. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Excellent. Number eighteen is just something to stick your face in. Yeah, facial sauna. She's very eighties looking with her that's eighties makeup, eighties hair. Very nice. Pressing the wrong button. Hair dryers. Hair dryer design has changed. I'm not a huge man. My my mum had that one. I think she probably still has that. That that grey one. I remember that well. You never see him in that bright green. That's no green like is a not a colour. Right right yeah. Things to make your hair curly or corrugated. Very nice. Oh, Some man. those those things. Heated. Heated rollers were yeah. a big thing back then. Oh yeah, you the hair was mad back then. Absolutely insane. They were, I mean, they're back in, but this were, they were, these were like bendy rollers, so you bend it in all kinds of crazy directions. Like, the, just the poofier, the better. Poofier, the better. I had one of the um, the Babyliss crimpers. Yeah. Um, yeah, to make your hair all corrugated. You should use it more. I think corrugated hair needs to come back in. Oh, this, this one's controversial. Mm, yeah, sunbeds. Scantily clad women on sunbeds. 
Lots of yeah, you wouldn't awesome. find some beds in there anymore. Like, yeah, that that was a thing of the past. Kettles, kettles of this colour, beige kettles. This pattern as well behind. Toasters had those Very patterns nice. as well. Yeah, and all these swirly things and uh, yeah, and like wheat, things like wheat and barley. They had those on on kettles. I remember that. Oh, more kettles. Yeah, that, that's a. That is a very colour, very yellow 80s and brown. colour. Things like yeah, yellow beige and brown. brown was a huge thing. Yeah, and the red tops. Yeah, nice time for kettle design, I think. Coffee makers, that's very executive. They haven't changed much. Tea's made. Tea's made. Had one of those. Well, these are, do these do colours. espresso? They bloody do as well. Espresso makers. I don't think anyone had heard of espresso in the in the late 80s. Yogurt maker? I haven't. Yogurt maker, Jesus. What's that do? Is that an orange juice maker? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's just, I thought that was cereal in there. I thought it was like a whole breakfast solution. Oh, that'd be cool. You have your breakfast in there and it like shoots out of a thing and then your orange juice comes out. That would be cool. A breakfast solution. Oh, I think you need to. Yeah, I'm going to invent that. That's cool as hell. <gasps> These toasters. Oh, we had number one. You had that toaster? Yeah. Yeah, I, we only had a two slice toaster, which used to piss me off because I had to wait for toast. If someone else was making toast, I didn't like that. Good times. Meat slicer. I bet they wouldn't sell that to people <laughs> nowadays. <slicer. laughs> yeah. Easy finger on that. That's brutal. I quite like one of those. Gigantic tin openers. Tin openers. Yeah. Because <laughs> opening tins is that important that you need something that big to take up that amount of space in your kitchen. <laughs> I'm cool with electric tin openers. My nana actually used to have one that was wall mounted. It didn't really work, but it was wall mounted and then you'd put the tin in it and turn it. It was rubbish, but oh. it was uh, it was kind of cool. Do you still use electric carving though? I don't know. I think people may have figured out that doing that isn't yeah. that difficult. I mean, it was, it was the age of like saving energy. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it's kind of a lazy age, really, wasn't it? Oh. You wanted a machine to do everything for you. Yeah. Wow, what are all these things? Just the age of hot plates. Oh, these are fryers. Bevel sandwich makers are back now. They're a big, yeah. big thing. They are there? indeed, yeah. Because we bought one from Argos the other day for £5. You can buy a brand new sandwich maker for £5, everybody. Quick, get to your local Argos now. Because look at how much they were back then. A lot more. I mean, this in I could probably put on the screen maybe how much this is translated in like the most expensive sandwich maker. What is that like twenty four ninety nine? How much is that in today's money? Ninety quid. Thirty odd, thirty something years later, like that's yeah, there's a lot in it. So yeah, bargains, bargains to be had. Toaster ovens. There's not a thing we have much anymore in this country. I know they do in, in other countries, but not here. Microwaves are a lot more square. They were a lot more square back then. Pans, pressure cookers, no, we don't need to talk about those, they're the same. Although these ones have lovely patterns on, just like the toasters. I feel like you could get a whole matching kitchen set, like literally everything you could get back then to be matching. And you probably have tiles that matched it as well. Yeah, the um, number five, there's wheat, that wheat yeah. pattern. I remember those beige wheat patterns being in a lot of people's kitchens. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, you could have a really, really lovely kitchen. Number seven as well, the brown tiles. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, that was a good colour. That was a, yeah, a proper colour for those times. Yeah, we're, we're, we can skip through these things. They're not particularly exciting. Although those scales are pretty old school. Have <laughs> you ever used those scales of like the proper weights and shit? Someone who was alive in Victoria. <laughs> Someone that really, like really wanted to use old technology. Yeah. Yeah. That's not very interesting. Oh, they're bread bins. That you don't see many bread bins very anymore, do you? Oh, a cheese holder. A cheese holder. Cheese with glass dome. Where? Cheese board with glass dome. Where? Twenty six. Twenty six. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. Does that cut your butter? Bloody hell. Oh no, it's, yeah, it's a cheese board with a wire cutter. I, I would quite like one of those. Put your lump of cheese on and go shoom. 
Yeah, do you ever see in like supermarkets when they used to cut the cheese with the wire? No. I remember seeing that once and it blew my mind, blew my tiny little mind that they used wire to cut the cheese. <laughs> cut the cheese. <laughs> yeah, that's not very interesting. Lots of moulds. Not very interesting. They were big on shapes then, like all the jelly moulds. See through pans like that, I remember being quite a big thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, these. I don't want to talk about those or those plates either. I mean, yeah, gross. The, are there any that actually match the, the wheat motif? Not really, That those would match the wheat motif. Let, let's, let's not deal with that. You can buy your silverware. Oh, you can decanter your things. No one decanters anything anymore. We're so uncultured, we never decanter anything anymore. Why, why is that? Right, what have we got here? Silver things. Look at I mean, I'm, I'm going to skip over this stuff. And we'll go straight to this. But what the hell is 22? Oh, that's a money box. A silver money box. Very, very nice. This just goes to show silver can be just as awful as gold. Would you eat your egg from that? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Well, by choice? Would you buy it? Um, how much is that? Four ninety nine. Um, That's quite a lot for a one egg cup. Yeah. Uh, a very distasteful egg cup. No, I, I mean that could be worse. Were things better in the age? <laughs> I'm not sure they were. Toys were. Well, we'll get to that. It's irons. Yeah, they're yeah, irons, ironing boards. I think we need to skip ahead because this is all a bit dull. The, the Hoover's. Those have changed in design quite a lot, haven't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah, hardware. The beautiful fires. Every house had a fire like this in them, didn't they? This one with the, the fan heater underneath and that like rotates and looks like a burning fire. They were lovely, weren't they? They were still a big thing up until about 15 years ago, weren't they? Yeah, they were. I'm not sure why. Phony fires make things look cosy, but it's not. Electric, a whole page of electric blankets. They were big. Did you put your feet in those. Did Until they all caught fire. <laughs> I couldn't cope with an electric blanket, that would be awful. Quilts. Yeah. Yeah. These ones oh, are cool. I used to love looking at the bedspread. <laughs> yeah. I would happily, my fantasy bed happily sleep under a Transformers mask or Thundercats one. Maybe not so much Postman Pat, although when I was three, I'd probably have really dug the Postman Pat one. And maybe the Thomas the Tank Engine one, because he was pretty. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> this guy with his sports towel and these old ass ladies. <laughs> what are they doing? What, what, what are those things? Six and seven. They're like. <laughs> Got a broom on the go looking at Playboy. You can get a My Little Pony rug. That's cute. That's, that's, I mean, it's fine. It's no. Nudity? <laughs> wow. There's nudity in the Argos catalogue. That's a lot of side boob. That is a lot of side boob. That's a lot of that's a lot of ass for a for a catalogue. It's funny how none of the blokes are naked. No, he's got a naked face. That seems unacceptable, doesn't it? It it wasn't acceptable in the later catalogues. They Mm. definitely would have put a bathing suit on them. Yeah, I don't remember there being that much nudity or any nudity at all. (laughs) You'd usually have like the shower screen would be steamed up and you can yeah. maybe see the silhouette of, well, a, artistic. of a naked lady, yeah. but yeah, wow. It makes me wonder when did they start putting in naked people and when did know. it stop? Well, like, is may- this the first time where they tried Maybe it? they tested this with men and they bought the number 25. <laughs> Or like, number 17. I'd like to know if it affected sales. Yeah, it may well have done. Yeah. But anyway. also, like, as a woman, you, you can see yourself yeah. showering. Yeah. With, with if I shower, arm. I will look like this. Yeah, yeah. That's fair enough. I want to be having as good a time as number 25 with yeah. the Florida shower. Well, who doesn't? Nothing to report on here. <laughs> Those scales, number six, they have a. They're, they're cork. Yeah. That's cool. It's obviously <laughs> feet from being cold. I like cork. I think cork should be used more. I like the feel of cork. Cork, cork should be more things. Oh god, these are like the light things we just stripped out of our house. Yeah. 
Yeah. In fact, we still have some of these up on the walls. Terrible light things. Ugh. You like that chandelier though, don't you? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. You're, oh, you're... that one's in a shell. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. That's like a big pearl. An oversized pearl that wouldn't fit in the shell. Wow. Lovely. You, nothing to report there. You imagine like having a TV that small in the corner of your room nowadays. Uh, what size TVs are, are they even? You just you just wouldn't anymore. Wow. You could display all your toys in there. You wouldn't have to dust all these things. That's, I'd, I'd have that in my house right now. I think that's quite nice. None of the others though. Oh, that's quite coffin shaped. Phone tables, number 13. I remember phone tables. You used to have to have a piece of furniture for your phone. <laughs> Those chairs, you remember those chairs? They were big they were, back in the early 2000s. Like early people, 2000s? People started using them for their computers. Mm. Apparently it was better for your, your back. I don't know what the purpose is here. I don't know. Well, just sitting on... I'd quite like to try one of those out for a day. They were marketed as computer chairs in 2001. They were, I remember them well. Brass fire accessories. All the brass. Yeah, very, very tasteful. Is that for your computer? Oh, look, early computer desks for your early computer. The very thing that would kill the Argos catalogue. Yeah, if only they knew. This is a long catalogue. <laughs> bunk beds, not bunk beds, what do they call them? Cabin beds? Cabin beds, yeah. Number 14. I had a cabin bed, it had cupboards underneath, it was sick. It was kind of like that, but less high. I did as well. Yeah, it had a big cupboard hand. underneath it. Baby seats. Wow. We got our dog guard from uh, Argos. Yeah. We don't have a dog guard. We just put them in They're a cage. They're too small. <laughs> they are too small and, and silly to go in a dog guard. I like the cassette carrier. That's uh, that's pretty cool. It's like, <laughs> it takes up a lot more room than six cassettes though. Is that a, a clock for your car? It is a car clock. Cars didn't have clocks then, but... So that's well. where everyone got their tartan blankets from. Yeah, <laughs> that is a tartan car, car blanket. Yeah, that's specifically for your car. I feel like I need a tartan blanket for the car. And What's that? Can... Ford? Do you know what it is? It's a Ford, you're right. Does it begin with us? It does. Damn it, I know the word, and I can't think of it. It's like... It's... <laughs> like it sounds like Solero, but it's not. It does. Solero. It's a Ford Sierra. Yes. Yeah, that's a quality automobile of the times. It looks like they looks like they've used the same car for all of their photos. You don't get covers for seats anymore. I think like seats are generally quite nice in cars nowadays. They must have been awful back then if you needed seat covers. Or maybe you just added your own personality. Yeah, maybe. I mean, number one says I'm cool. It does say that you're cool. I always wanted tiger print ones. Oh, those really uncomfortable bead ones. Mm. Get some spotlights for your Ford Escort. I don't know what that is. Possibly a Volvo. I do still have one of those crook locks in my Mini. <laughs> power tools. Lovely. More power tools. They're, they're the same as they are now, really. They just cut stuff. More power tools. More power tools. This was a, they were a big power tool seller, weren't they, Argos? There's more power tools. Tools. Torches. Plugs. Gardening equipment. That doesn't change. It's your hunky man to go with your hunky lady. That's about all you're getting, I'm afraid, man-wise. <laughs> well, you can buy some uh, some some protein. Not much has changed, then, Not much it? has changed, no. Trampoline lady. <laughs> Where's she jumping to? Because she's not landing. She's that's a really out of perspective, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's not quite right. And this lady is electrocuting herself then. Electrocuting herself into ab world. Into ab world. <laughs> it doesn't work. Is that what it says? <laughs> no, but it should. <laughs> is that what it was? You electrocuted yourself into ab. Yeah, world. it's supposed to make you clench, so then you build up your ab muscles. But the thing is, they're only going to appear beneath any like if you've got a layer of fat on top you're not going to see them 
they just electrocuted you. Yeah, it just makes all your muscles go tense, yeah. basically. Weird. And snooker table as well. I always wanted one of those. Yeah. For all you, all you non-English people, snooker is like pool, but bigger. Yeah. Sports stuff. Very nice. <laughs> Get in with his brolly. He's got a brolly. It might rain on the golf course. But I'm prepared. That's not going to stop I me. have my stripy golfing umbrella and no one can stop me. That page is the wrong way round. <laughs> Probably wasn't printed that. Is she in a swimming costume yeah. on that? Yeah. Okay. Don't know why you'd be. <laughs> because it's a double one and uh, yeah, if, if you buy this, maybe she will share the double mattress with you. I hope Same so. point. Yeah, you hope so. She does have good 80s hair. I like the mask lunchbox, so that's pretty sweet. And the mask sleeping bag. Mask had everything. Like they were they branded all the stuff back then. That was cool. Luggage. Now luggage, right? When did luggage change from this to the modern day luggage that we have now? I'm gonna guess the nineties. I'm gonna guess the nineties, yeah. Like when did they have like hard cases with wheels on the bottom and stuff? They they were the wrong they were another way around then. You used to have to lift them. Weird. I think it was Samsonite that did it. Everyone copied Samsonite. Not not from uh, Dumb and Dumber. Oh. That was Swanson. Samsonite. You were way off. <laughs> I was way off. <laughs> yeah. Ah, photography. Now, kids, these are what used to go into cameras. It's called film. And you used to get a maximum of 36 images on that, on those that film and you had to send it away and then they'd send you back some pictures these these were cameras as well these they, this, this this wasn't a camera those, those were cameras why does yellow signify underwater nikki so you can find it if you drop it no, I guess you're so. not going to yeah. find a black one you're not you going to find a black camera if you drop it yeah i suppose i suppose that's right the extra waterproof cladding as well. Yeah, yeah. I suppose it keeps it. Yeah, is is yeah. More cameras, big camera selection, binoculars, a microscope if you need it, and a telescope. Keyboards. Hmm. Yeah, people were big into keyboards back then. They were pretty revolutionary, weren't they? I mean, you could have it was every instrument. Like you had guitar, you had a drum kit, and it was a uh, yeah, pretty dope. Animal sound effects. Animal sound effects, yeah. Portable televisions, even though they weren't really that portable. Black and white TVs. Do you ever have a black and white TV? No, I refuse to watch them. You refuse to watch them? Not now. I love black and white TV now, but you know, when I was little, I just I just couldn't focus on it. It had to be bright and colourful. Ah, uh, well, picky. Black and white TV was my first television, and you could you had to tune it in like a radio, which you don't have to tune in like that anymore. <laughs> You haven't done for a long time, but yeah, you actually had to find the right signal. I'm not that old, like, it was just a really old TV. Like, well, the uh, colour TVs, you had to find the right signal, didn't you? You had to dial Well, yeah, yeah, thing. you had to, like, analogue TV, it had to be tuned in, but you at least had the buttons normally, but you actually had to tune it in every time you wanted to change the channel. Big boxy stereo systems. That one has compact disc. Fucking hell, that must be expensive. 300 quid, that one. Those two both have both have CDs. That's like eighty-seven was early for CDs, right? Yeah, they Must weren't do. like a household thing until nah. nineteen ninety. I want to say. What was your first CD? Oh, it's never mind. Never mind was your first CD. Yeah, I got it off my dad. Ah, right. So it was your dad's. Yeah, but I found it. <laughs> Finished it off him. <laughs> well, that's not yours then, is it? Like your first CD, your first CD wasn't that cool because it wasn't yours. The first CD I bought was... Uh, you just don't want to say she doesn't want to say. It was Baby One More Time. Baby One More Time. There we go. <laughs> Baby One More Time. It's a good song. <laughs> Mine was Oasis. What's the story? Morning Glory. That was the first album I got on CD. I think, I, I think my mum and dad gave me the CD player for my birthday with that CD. It's a good album. I just robbed my dad. Like, Fair enough. Your, your parents didn't have a very good. CD. <laughs> no, no, they didn't. My, my parents had my parents had pretty shit CDs. My dad had a good taste in music, but my mum had all the CDs and they weren't great. Yeah, my parents Sorry, also like metal, so I just grunge. So that was good. Yeah, that's pretty cool. 
yeah, more music, car speakers, yeah, they were probably awful. <laughs> car stereos, look at them. Put your cassettes in your car, they're nice and square. Uh, it, it, having buttons and knobs in, on your, in your car is like, you don't have that anymore. Like, you just have touch screens and, and stuff, it's boring. Uh, you need all that stuff, that's great. Little graphic equaliser and things, oh, that was cool. Boombox. My grandparents said number 10. Yeah. Or one very much like it. That's pretty yeah, cool. Bright red sun, yeah. Yeah, bright red one. Personal stereos, everybody. Now we checked the head and there was no Sony in here and uh, we looked up whether Sony invented the Walkman and of course they did, it was like 1980, you know, 19, what was it you remember? It was the early 80s. The early 80s, yeah, I'll put the year somewhere, if you care. But yeah, there's no Sony ones in here, uh, but yeah, there's some very nice ones. The Ferguson Escort I think is quite a nice name for a, for a personal stereo. Bit of a weird name, but very nice. Oh, I've got some headphones. She's got some headphones in. She's got 80s hair. That's a, a clock radio telephone. A clock radio telephone, wow. They used to like to cram stuff in, cram features into things, didn't they? The clock radio telephone. What's that one? The clock radio, that's also a clock radio telephone. That's what I was, I was looking at. Oh, oh, right. I was hoping it had an answer machine in it as well. That would have been cool. You could record, like, maybe off the radio onto your answer machine. That would be sweet. I've just invented something there. As a clock radio cassette, which isn't quite as cool. What the hell's that? That's another one of those lamp things. Oh, the lamp. <laughs> I like that. I'd have that in my house right now. That's pretty sweet. Well, you, uh, they, they, those tape cases, you see those occasionally, like uh, car boot sales full of really old tapes. I like those. I remember having something like that for tapes that, again, I got from a car boot sale. That's cool. Yeah, store your tapes in it, it swiveled round. And uh, yeah, VHS. That was, uh, uh, it was uh, Netflix. It, it was that was Netflix before Netflix existed. Well, that, well, not really. That's YouTube because you made the content for. Oh yeah, okay, on, yeah, on yeah. This this is YouTube. The pre-recorded ones are, are Netflix. Yeah, that's that's a good shout actually. So basically, you robbed other people's content, and recorded them onto these. That was, uh, yeah, that was YouTube. Joysticks. I remember having that joystick connected to my. Sinclair ZX Spectrum. I remember them never working. I don't know. It never worked? No. I, mean, I couldn't worked. get them to work. <laughs> Mine worked. It's that telephone clock radio again. Wow, look at that phone. That's cool. God, there's lots of phones. Big phones for partially sighted people. Phones, typewriters. That was a, that was a laptop of the day. Yeah, lots of typewriters. Electronic typewriters. They were high tech places to file your stuff calculators were, were pretty badass back then weren't they yeah this was the year of the company. yeah i mean that was the thing that we you, you had to have a calculator for school didn't you especially like late on in school they you had to have a scientific calculator did well, you did have you, a sign? no did i not? just had a regular calculator by the time i got to big school but big in school <clears throat> in primary school we never oh we not in primary one. school no you didn't have one then but i remember having a yeah, scientific calculator. I still don't really know how to work them, but I always thought those looked cool because they had little graphs on them. I, no, I still have no idea what they're for, and I don't particularly care, but they, 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 they looked cool. They just looked high tech. Those batteries, that's what you had in torches, those big bad boys there. How much were they? 229. That's not too bad. That's quite a lot. Well, it's quite a lot for a battery, I suppose. I guess the torch probably only costs like five quid. All right, we're at the most important section, the toy section, starting with these cool little computers. Now, do you remember these computers, Nikki? I do remember because I got one second hand for Christmas. Oh. Um, I want to say it was either number 32 or 36. Um, I think it was 36. I remember it was 36. Yeah. I remember 32. I think my sister had 32. So, like, this is 1987, so we weren't old enough to get these 
new. So pretty much all of the toys in here are stuff that would have got second hand from somewhere, which is generally how you got toys back then. I pretty much got everything second hand, like toy wise. I did get some new stuff for Christmas, but um, yeah. Yeah, these computers, well, they kind of sucked, didn't they? But no, they, I loved them. You loved them? I absolutely loved them. I don't really remember what they did. Like, I remember this this one talked and like he typed stuff in it and spelled stuff. And it had like those touch keys that were really unresponsive. Yeah. You just got to press hard. Yeah, got to press hard. But yeah. Grandstand. Grandstand made some cool shit back then. Well, it made me feel like I had a laptop. I felt like a, yeah. a grown up businesswoman. Yeah. It kind of looked like an old, like, yeah, an old computer from back then. Yeah, yeah they were sweet. More little computers. I mean, the speaking spell, everyone knows the speaking spell. That's, uh, yeah. The age of the home robot as well. Yeah, the home robot. All these things just ate batteries for breakfast. These th Tomy 3D, Tomy Tronic things. I see those about sometimes. But yeah, they're like, I remember these sorts of things that you had to have them in a good light source because the light showed through and it like projected it. Yeah. They were never particularly easy to play, but yeah. I've never played with one. And these robots were cool as hell. Uh, we've got some of those, a couple of those robots, not that one, but yeah. And uh, these guys, again, cards were a big thing, weren't they? Yeah, very nice. In Game & Watch, you ever play a Game & Watch? No. It was like Nintendo's LCD games. They were still pretty crap, but that's like an early DS. That's where it came from. It's the birthplace of the DS in 1987. The, is that a more Donkey sophisticated Kong. version of the handheld um, LCD Tiger yeah, game? Yeah, yeah. This is uh, Donkey Kong's the classic one because mm -hmm. it had the two screens and Donkey Kong went down and up the thing. Down up? Down, he went up, didn't he? he was jumping over the barrels. But yeah, he'd go from one screen to the other, which was just revolutionary. Classic board games. They stood the test of time. They did. Like, how many of these can you still get? Well, I've still got number nine, Mousetrap. Yeah. The same cover and everything. Still got my strap. Hungry, hungry hippos you can still get. Don't know about these. Go bananas. I remember that vaguely. It had monkeys in it. I can't Just remember. Makes me think of Quagmire on the, on the family guy. Go bananas. Pop-up pirates, obviously a classic. Mousetrap, as you said. Bed bugs. That's kind of horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Scribble <laughs> scramble. Oh, Scribble scramble. We've still got that somewhere, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. And the atomic pinball we have. Again, we got it not that long ago from a car boot sale. Possibly a car boot sale. That wasn't it. Yeah. yeah. Kong Man, I remember. I remember those Tony game, Tony games being good. They were like a, a magnetic marble thing that went up the thing. Yeah, that's a really good description. That, yeah. Really good description. But they were they were pretty cool. They had a Sonic one as well. Oh. Yeah. These are the more adult games. Guess who? It's a classic. Adult game. At all games. <laughs> Not like that. Classic Legos. Lego, sorry. Legos if you're American. It's not how we say it here. We just say Lego because that's what it's called. The plural of Lego is Lego. Not Legos. Anyway, Space Lego is the ultimate. The Lego Technic was sweet. It's still sweet. Bolt and Build, I don't remember that. Is it like Connect? Yeah, like Meccano maybe. Yeah. They must have some Meccano in there. I like Meccano. Cars and that. What's he? Yeah, what's number four? Number four. Match, matchbox Cargantua. Nice name. <gasps> He-Man. It's like kind of a Transformer, but not. Yeah, He-Man. That's the evil horde fright zone. So this was kind of after the heyday of uh, He-Man. This was the start of Slime. Fun, I'm yeah, guessing. yeah, slime fun. Mm. Yeah, you did. Did that one have some? Oh, this one had slime, didn't it? The, yeah, slime uh, pit. Yeah, slime pit, obviously. Yeah, nice. <clears throat> action force. Now, I never had any action force. That's one thing I didn't have. One thing I didn't get from a car boot sale, even though they look pretty cool. It's just army stuff, isn't it, really? Lots of army stuff back then. I never had Brave Star either. Remember Brave Star? No. Uh, no. That's not something I ever had. Starcom. Yeah, Starcom. I, I, I know of Starcom. I never had any Starcom, but I did have Manta Force, which was pretty sweet. It was kind of, yeah, just loads of spaceships and stuff. It was, it was rad. Yeah, I like Manta Force, just because they were spaceships. Everyone likes spaceships. 
It's like a Transformers carry case. No, it's just a satchel. You take it to school. And the obligatory Transformers, obviously. Which everyone knows and loves. Oh, number 11. He's called Skull Cruncher. Skull Cruncher. <laughs> what an awesome name. He's a slimy creature which transforms into a robot. Yeah. So he's basically a crocodile. Right. <laughs> I never really got Transformers that weren't like cars or planes. Like when they started to get into animals and things like that, I wasn't really asked. Like, yeah, the Cars Transform is cool, but... Laser guns, 1980s laser guns. I, I didn't know you could get those back then. They look fun. <laughs> Tell that to the kid in the picture. Yeah, he seems a bit... He doesn't seem that... You call in, this that in, fun? <laughs> yeah. I'm just standing here and you're just shooting me. I remember having laser guns, I remember using laser guns of that era and they weren't great. Muscle guys, I like those. I'd like a box of those now. They had a bit of a revival not so long ago, didn't they? Like lots of people started making different muscle figures, like He-Man ones and like Toxic Crusaders and things like that. I never had those back then. I had some Thundercats. Did you have any Thundercats? No, but I always wanted Thundercats. I remember having a couple of Thundercats figures, again, that I got from car boot sales. By the way, car boot sales are flea markets for our American cousins. Like, it's a weird name, isn't it, car boot? Well, I mean, you literally drive your car there, open the boot, yeah. get all your crap open, out on the table. Open your trunk. Mm. But yeah, that's a, that's a car boot sale. You just sell all the shit out the back of your car. I don't know who had this sword, but one of my friends had this had the Thundercat sword, and you pressed it and it lit up. That was, I think that was one of the all time great uh, toy swords, because it's a Thundercat sword and it had the logo that lit up. That's that's amazing. Mask I had a lot of. Do you have any mask? No. No. I thought mask was great, even though it was kind of things broke a lot on mask toys i've got a big box of like broken mask cars i think i've got this one i've got i've probably got all of these but in broken form but yeah masks were good they were everywhere and the little the little tiny figures were were, were pretty awesome because they never broke but you'd always lose the masks of them but yeah a lot of uh, a wide variety of cool vehicles i never had the what's it called the uh, boulder hill that's the one yeah, uh, I never had that. I never saw many at Car Boots. So no. They seem like they had to find complete or not smashed up. Yeah, I don't know whether I had much complete, but I do remember them. I remember having a few bits. Anyway, oh, we're on to girls' toys now. <laughs> they, they, it's what they call them. We're on to the, the, the dolls. They don't have to be for girls. We all know that. Now, Cindy. Was Cindy as good as Barbie? I thought she was better than Barbie because she's not, I mean, Barbie just seemed a bit full of it. She was, like, um... She was a bit full of herself, like she was the popular girl and Cindy was always just not quite as popular. I think she was the underdog, which made her a bit cooler. Yeah. Gave her an edge. Okay, okay. I mean, Jem's the only acceptable. Jem, Jem was kind of, yeah, she yeah, was she's kind cool. of awesome. Yeah, I. Right. Well, they had a band, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, that was that was pretty sweet. Great hair. Great hair. My Little Pony. I like My Little Ponies because, well, they're animals, so that mm, makes yeah. them better. And they have really cool hair. They do have cool hair. I thought, yeah. when I was little, I thought they had tattoos, which I thought was really cool, um, on their butts. <laughs> they've got, it's a cutie stamp, but I thought they were tattoos and they've got these cool haircuts. So I thought, oh, punk ponies. <laughs> I like these. You remember these glow friends? Yeah. Yeah, they like lit it up. See, I love stuff that glows in the dark, and I don't know why yeah. ponies didn't glow in the dark. They shouldn't. More things should have glowed. Uh, yeah, everything should if have glowed. If Barbie glowed, in the, glowed in the dark, I'd have been into her. Yeah. I don't see why she would. She probably had some glow in the dark accessories. Sylvanian families? Did you have any of those? Uh, my friend gave me one. Yeah, they were, they were really expensive. I remember my sister had quite a few Sylvanian families because she got all the cool stuff. They're really cute. They are cute, yeah, yeah. They Unlike are. Cabbage Patch Kids. Yeah, they're just weird. <laughs> I'm not really sure about them. Recognise anything else on that page? Keepers? Oh, well, they were the... I think you had to unlock them, because, of course, the 80s Instantly. was all about 
keys and locks and unlocking stuff. Yeah. Um, so yeah, naturally you just lock your animals. Okay. okay. And put things in them. Okay. Because who's going to look in there for that thing? Who is? Who is? Pan puppies. You must love pan puppies. Yeah. Yeah. No dogs from the pound. This was the the age of the the pound puppy. I think they were released in eighty four. But by 87, they were like this big phenomenon, like everyone loved pound puppies by then. They introduced pound kitties, and obviously I love them because they're rescue animals, and I felt like that taught kids good values. Well, yes, it did, it did. It was saving from the pound. Muppet babies can do one, we don't like them. (laughs) They were just crap Muppets. Alf is dangerously close to that cat. He is, yeah. He's well, dying it. He's been kept away by my pet monster, which is good. I mean, I'm hoping he's going to keep the peace. Alf. She didn't like Alf. She didn't like Alf. I, I was indifferent to Alf. I didn't really care. I he eats like, cats. Yeah, that's true. He did eat cats, he's which horrible. is a, a bit of a dick move. Yeah. I like my pet monster, though. He was, he was, he was pretty rad. What went to next? Dolls and that. Yeah. Exciting Hoover. Exciting toys for kids. They can uh, sweep the floor. Sweep the floor and Hoover up the mess. Uh, yeah, with dolls. And you can cook if you if you want, but only if you're a girl. <laughs> That's what you've been indoctrinated into. The boy gets that cool workshop, yeah, which I can, always want. We can hit stuff. Always want Boys can hit stuff, and you have to go shopping. <laughs> Damn it! It's not. It's not fair, really, is it? Anything? I remember this plane, this Fisher Price plane, for some reason. I don't know why. I always wanted the Fisher Price car garage. Yeah, parking lot. pretty cool. Yeah. I remember these play sets that opened up like a case. Oh, they're cool. Yeah, they are pretty cool. What was that one? Turbo, you told me Space Turbo. So that's like the car one. Like that guy converted to play Outrun, which is the best use of that ever. Someone must must have done something with this, like play Empire Strikes Back or something. I don't know. Do you remember this guy? No. He pushed in his nose and he sort of ran forward and did this, and his tongue went in there. No. I think I vaguely remember an advert for it, maybe. Yeah, I remember him for some reason, and uh, that's probably about it on that page. I don't know, we, we've got one of these that we picked up for a pound at a charity shop, haven't we? Yeah, I had this one teapot. of those as well. Yeah, I was going to put, I was going to plant some plants in it, because it's not in particularly good condition, which I haven't done yet. Number 16 is cool. Number 16. Top right corner. That is cool. I would have loved that as a three-year-old, or two-year-old, however old I was in 87. I don't remember any of this stuff, do you? No. Actually, I do remember these little cars. They were fun to ride on. They had the squishy horn. You know, meep, meep. Obviously, that's what the sound of horn makes. Keyboards again. Keyboards and trikeys. Anything good on there? No. Educational toys. Yeah, this is like when you're flipping through the catalogue when you're younger, like, and you get past all the good stuff, and then you get to this bit, and you're like, Ugh. no, I was like, yes, you like chemistry this bit. set. Yeah, it was a, it was a bit better than the the. The young kids' toys, um, but Mr. Frosty. Oh, Mr. Frosty's a classic. I'm sure you can still get a Mr. Frosty, an etch a sketch, obviously, and Paul Daniels magic set. That was uh, that was a staple in the Argos catalogue for many years. Oh, that's more good old, and a Spirograph. I hate those. And um, work. They were, yeah. Some of them were easy to do, but some of them were just impossible to get your pen right, and then it slipped, and you just made a mess of everything. There's, and then even if you didn't, you just have this big sort of swirly mess and I don't really see the point in the paragraph. Yeah, that could do one too. <laughs> Keep fit, girl. Get in shape, girl. Tumble and turn. I, I, I don't know what's going on there. Those look dangerous as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you just put your normal shoes in. No not really stop us on them. No. There's, there's going to be many, many grazed elbows. My Little Pony tent, though. That one's a caravan. I like that. <laughs> no, that is that is particularly cool. And the My Little Pony tent, and uh, that one's just a little house. It's a beauty, yeah. Gotta love Spooty, yeah. And these mini pool tables, I'm like... Yeah, I remember 
I think maybe around my grandparents' house they had a little mini pool table we used to play on because my dad was uh, my granddad was mad into snooker. Good times. Oh, I was one of those go karts. Yeah, I did. I never had one of those go karts. A lot of my friends did, and I used to love stealing them off them. All right, that is the toy section, <laughs> and that is the Argos catalogue for 1987. If you stuck around for the entire thing, thank you very much. Um, that was long. Argos catalogues have a lot in. Uh, we'll be coming back with more Argos catalogues and more other cool videos at some point. So thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Tell us what your favourite things are in the Argos catalogue. And we'll see you soon. Say goodbye, Nikki. Bye. Bye-bye.